Ever wondered how to safely remove earwax at home? Well, first, let's understand its importance. Earwax, despite its unsightly appearance, plays a crucial role in keeping our ears healthy. It acts as a natural barrier, trapping dust and bacteria, preventing them from reaching deeper into our ear canal. Normally, the body gets rid of excess earwax on its own, a natural process as routine as brushing your teeth. However, sometimes this process doesn't work as it should, and that's when we may encounter blockages. But what happens when this natural process doesn't work as it should? Let's find out. So when does earwax become a problem? Well, normally, earwax is a helpful substance that protects our ears. However, when it builds up, it can cause more harm than good. This excessive accumulation often leads to symptoms such as hearing loss, a ringing or buzzing sound in the ear known as tinnitus, earache, and even dizziness. It's like a party in your ear that you didn't invite anyone to. Now don't panic if you experience any of these symptoms. They're a signal, not a sentence. However, if these symptoms are severe or persist, it's crucial to seek medical intervention. Remember, your ear is a delicate organ, not a DIY project. Ear specialists or otolaryngologists are trained to handle earwax blockages professionally and safely. They're like the superheroes of the ear world. So don't hesitate to call them into action when you need them. But if the blockage is not severe, you can try some safe home remedies. And we'll explore those in the next scene. Stay tuned. Now, let's talk about how you can safely remove earwax at home. First, let's explore the hydrogen peroxide method. It's as simple as it sounds. You'll need a dropper and 3% hydrogen peroxide solution. Tilt your head sideways, drip a few drops into your ear, and let it bubble away. The effervescence helps to break down the wax. After about 10 minutes, tilt your head the other way to let the solution and wax flow out. Next, we have over-the-counter eardrops. These are typically oil or saline-based solutions designed to soften the wax. Similar to the hydrogen peroxide method, you'll apply a few drops into your ear, wait a while, then drain it out. Then there's the warm water irrigation technique. This should be done with caution. First, use a rubber bulb syringe to gently squirt warm water into your ear canal, then tilt your head to let the water and wax drain out. Remember, the water should be warm, not hot, to avoid damaging your delicate ear tissues. Now a word of caution. You might be tempted to use cotton swabs or ear candles but resist the urge. Cotton swabs can push the wax further into your ear canal, potentially leading to blockages or damage. As for ear candles, they're not only ineffective but can also lead to serious injuries. Remember, these methods are for mild blockages. If symptoms persist, seek medical help. Now that you know how to safely remove earwax at home, how can you prevent future blockages? Well, the best method of prevention is actually quite simple. Avoid inserting objects into your ear. It might be tempting to use that cotton swab, but resist the urge. This can push the wax further into the ear canal, causing more harm than good. Instead, consider using over-the-counter eardrops occasionally. These drops can help to soften and break down the earwax, making it easier for it to naturally exit the ear. And remember, our ears are self-cleaning, so they don't need much interference from us. But what if your symptoms persist or even get worse? That's when it's time to seek medical help. A healthcare professional can safely remove the earwax without risking damage to your ear canal or eardrum. Don't try to be a hero and take matters into your own hands. So the next time you feel a blockage, remember these safe and effective methods. Your ears will thank you for it.